so hello everyone. Uh, I will uh, quickly uh, present a model order reduction and how to use it. So first, you you need to have uh, to go to the GitHub pages, where there is different interesting links, like link to the documentation here, uh, which uh, on which you can uh, find uh, all the dependencies and how to install it and some tutorial as well as uh, as well as all the explanation of the Python API that um, help you to reduce the model. And when you you have uh, downloaded uh, the binaries or compiled it locally. You can then uh, try to do a first reduction. So in model order reduction, there is a, uh, I'll show you the hierarchy. So there is, um, there is a, a, a source folder where there is all the, the C++ code, a Python uh, module where there is all the utilities to do the reduction, and uh, a tools folder that we use to uh, as an interface to do the reduction. So in this tools folder, there is uh, this um, file called model order reduction from file. And, um, and here we do our first reduction. So, so it uses uh, PyQt5 uh, to help user uh, choose uh, sim, uh, choose sim, so here we go. Other reduction. So here I can choose the same scene I want to reduce. So there is multiple scenes already available in the in the plugin to have some example. So here we'll do a dynamo robot. And after we have to choose in which folder we will put the, the reduction uh, results. So here I call the test diamond. We choose it. And here it does nothing because um, all this, uh, uh, all is commented. Only the instantiation is done. Uh, so we can perform the full reduction in one go and comment in this line. But here we will do it step by step and I will ex explain the process. We'll begin with phase one, but first I will explain a bit what does it mean uh, what does this mean? Uh, so here, uh, I will command this because we will have, it will open each time and it will be awesome. So here, I write it uh, down uh, uh, the path to the scene and the path to the reduce folder. And here, in the, so in this scene, we want to reduce uh, mo model knob, so the name in the scene. And uh, for that, we have to uh, to describe how we want to uh, to animate this scene, how we want to shake it in order to uh, obtain an information about the, the deformation of our model in order to be able to uh, to generate a reduce uh, model from this information. And for that, we have. Uh, we'll, show you the scene, it will be easier to understand. So here, test, So this scene is a, a simple uh, and not so useful scene where we have uh, this model, which has uh, four cables. Uh, in node uh, north, west, sud, est, so each uh, direction, you can see them here. And so in order to obtain information about this model, we will pull each cable in different combination uh, and different lengths. And for that, we have uh, this, uh, this uh, utilities I have defined, OBG to animate. So here we select the node. Uh, we will animate so no the increment uh, at which uh, uh, period and until uh, 
until uh, which value. Um, and here, uh, by default, it will use uh, um, uh, uh, functions that are defined here. And here, it's really a, a default checking where we pull, uh, we, we add by increment a value until it's done. So the value I have defined here. But if you want to do more complex animation, you can uh, increment them and uh, link them uh, to uh, obj to animate. But I won't explain it here. She will do the simple things. So then we instantiate the list obj to animate with uh, these four different uh, uh, animation. We have uh, some uh, tolerance uh, to allow us to uh, choose more or less uh, information uh, we want to keep from our full module. And we can uh, choose uh, to go quicker how many CPU we have on our computer to launch different scenes in parallel. Then we instantiate the, the reduce model and we can then finally do the first phase. So the first phase is uh, the shaking, I just uh, explained. Uh, we will uh, take different combinations of these uh, four uh, animations and uh, we will uh, produce a lot of data which will be positioned. And from this position, we will be able to extract uh, reduced bases. So I go back here. And here, because I've put CPU 4, it lands uh, 4 scenes by 4 scenes. These scenes are created uh, on the go in uh, your temporary folder. So here. And in the end of this step, it will produce a debug folder here. We'll take a look in this folder. Um, so this debug uh, folder has a debug scene, which will play back the state file, which is uh, a combination of all the positions uh, that are, has happened during the, the shaking phase. So here we have uh, our debug scene, and as we see, it pulls on all the cables with different uh, combinations, and it seems uh, good to go, no, no issue. Mm -hmm. So we can then do the second phase, which, we, which is extract uh, different uh, mode, doing most uh, relevant mode of deformation of our model in order to create our reduced basis. So here we go again. This one. Here it retains a uh, 32 mode with uh, the, the tolerance we've put. And we it seems uh, all good. So now we can do the, the third phases, which is uh, from this reduced basis, we do the first phase, but with um, with the reduced basis we just computed. So it will do a shaking again. It will be a bit uh, longer this time because there is a um, there is a mapping I will show you uh, later. So again, we will be able to uh, see uh, what this uh, shaking done has done by uh, by going into the debug folder. Uh, near the end. Okay, and 
as you can see, there is multiple other uh, files that have been regenerated, and I will explain them just uh, in a moment. So here we have the, the second state file, which is uh, again position of this uh, shaking phase we have just done. And we can see it as follow by uh, giving him uh, the name as an argument. And so it does uh, really the same thing. So it seems fine. And so we have this uh, new uh, file, sorry. And from this file, uh, we will uh, do what's called a uh, hyper reduction. So we have the reduce basis, but we we still work with the whole system, with the whole uh, element of our mesh. And by doing hyper reduction, we will uh, will compute uh, the most uh, useful element of the mesh, put weight on it, and only work with them. And so it's uh, phase uh, four. Okay, so it reads the different uh, files that have been generated in phase three, and um, given an, an error, compute uh, as the best uh, element to keep. An error and uh, a tolerance we, we given here, tolerance and GUI. Um, there is there. So there is a debug folder and the data folder where we have the node we've computed in the second phase, which is a 32 uh, uh, vector of position, so vector of uh, the position of our robot. And now we have this uh, this list of active nodes with uh, the ID and their weight. And um, this different file will be used in our, with our reduce model that is uh, generated here. And if all went well, we can then go here and launch the reduce test and and see our reduce model. And so here it is. So it's a diamond we've seen previously, but with a, a selected element and it, run, uh, it will run faster normally. Uh, just to show you uh, quickly what to see. So, as you can see, it has uh, kept the, most of the elements on the uh, elbow, if we can say, of the, this diamond robot, where most of the deformation happened, and some elements along with its, uh, its arm. And uh, just to explain briefly what's the difference between a model node and a reduce a model node, is that we have a mapping between uh, uh, the full model, which is here, model node, and uh, the um, reduced basis uh, here, where it, here if we open it, it's a mechanical object with 30, of size 30, which is a 30 uh, different mode I've uh, shown previously. And there is a mapping here between the, the full model and the reduced model. And also, we use the hyper-reduce uh, force field that you can see here. Okay, for a simple reduction in the, that uh, work. And I will show you another way to do it quickly and quicker also. I will uh, uh, remove all this. Okay. And I will show you uh, a GUI that uh, can be useful also to use. Okay. Uh, that allow you to do this um, more intuitively. 
and uh, it's with more information. So I will, uh, I tested just previously, so there is data in it, but we will reset it with a control L. Here again, you can choose which thing you want to test. So it will be uh, the diamond robot, which we use here, sorry. It will test it because uh, before doing any, any reduction, you have to be sure that you send work, of course. As uh, output, again, diamond test the diamond. And here you will put the reduce parameter you have shown you previously. Here we want to reduce the node model node, so we select it. Here is a different uh, is a different tolerance. And there is a uh, more argument, like for example, phase to execute, but here it will be uh, filled automatically. Um, and we have here now in animation parameter to add our animation function. So as I've said, we will use default checking, but there is other uh, function you can select and implement. Um, and we tell to this function on which node we want to do the reduction again, so list uh, uh, nodes. And what's uh, great also with this is that we can test what it does quickly by clicking on this button. It will launch uh, a simulation and normally it will uh, pull on uh, these two cables uh, until the end of the range of action of actuation, so and it does that. So we can have an ID and see beforehand if uh, everything is working. Okay, that seems fine. And as you can see, uh, just above, uh, as I add animation, it fills the phase to execute, which is a different combination of the different uh, animation I defined here. Uh, so, okay. And the last one, south. Okay. And now I can select the different phases and uh, launch them. So, it long again. And uh, um, we wait this uh, step and after I will uh, end the video, but it's just to show you the capacity of this, uh, this tool that uh, can be useful and uh, uh, a good alternative uh, from the script I've shown you previously. Okay, and from there you can also uh, launch the, the debug directly and see what it does. Well, normally it's the same thing. Seems so. Yeah, the computer is a bit laggy now, but uh, that's the idea. And you get you get some setting here with uh, if you want more or less information and the number of CPU. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you. And if ever you've got any question, uh, don't hesitate to uh, join us directly on, um, on uh, Discord. Uh, it's not up to date, but uh, there will be a link here to our uh, Discord uh, channel where you can uh, where you can come directly to us and ask a question, or you can create, of course, issue and uh, and requests. Thank you.